So I would like to demonstrate in this tutorial how you can take an alternative approach to providing the oral administration of quizzes and exams accommodation with your students. Instead of reading it out loud, it is possible to use the technology built into Word or PDF to have the quiz or exam read out loud to the student. So first I'm going to show you how to do that with Word. First, you need to make sure that the quiz of the exam is open on the device that will be actually used for that exam. Once done, go to the ribbon and click on the Quick Access Toolbar to the drop-down menu and select More Commands. This will pull up this window. We're going to find the command on this side. So we're going to select Commands Not in Ribbon, and we're looking for Speak. The speak command is what we're going to be using. So we're going to scroll down to the S's and then you're going to select speak. Click add. That'll add it to your, your quick access toolbar list and then click OK. Now that icon is above here. The student is now ready to highlight the question and any of the answer choices that they want read out loud and click the icon. What is the color of your mom? Blue. Orange. Now, the issue with Word is that students can edit and, revi and revise this quiz as much as they want to. There's a way to lock that, but you really, it, it becomes a little more difficult to do that. So if you, you don't like that because of this fact, then the second option of PDF is going to be your, um, your way to go. Um, the second issue that both Word and PDF share is math problems do not read well or accurately. Dash 2x plus 3x0 equals 1. So you're, you're intending on finding a technology that would do that. There are several online options, and you can contact the learning centers about those. But either of these options, Word or PDF, will not be the ones that you want to use for that. OK, so other than Word, like I said, there's PDF. So if you don't already have the PDF version of your uh, to exam or quiz, then you want to go to, with it open on Word, go to File and select Save as Adobe PDF, and that will give the option to save in, uh, your quiz at, or exam with the name you want and the location you want. So once that's done, you pull up your saved PDF. All you have to do is go to View, excuse me, down to Read Out Loud, and select Activate Read Out Loud. All the student has to do from this point on is to click on the question. What, what is the color of your left shoe? A blue, B red, C orange. PDF is definitely a lot more user friendly in that they don't have to highlight and then go up to the icon. It's also nice because unlike the Word document that was easy to revise and edit, this one what, what is the color you of your can't do elite or backspace or erase anything. The words are there. So it's it's a lot more secure in that fact. Uh, a benefit to this as well is if you want, the students can answer the questions right on this document as well. They can highlight it and go through and answer everything that needs to be answered, um, which might make it easier for you to grade uh, afterwards. So um, that's definitely a benefit. Um, they can, even if you don't like the highlighting option, if or there's a fill in the blank question possibly, they can also type the answers in too using the the text uh, option here. So, excuse me, that text option there. Uh, so PDFs are definitely a lot more secure, a lot more flexibility in how students can answer the questions. It's harder for them to make the changes. Uh, so overall, it's probably your better choice between the two. Uh, if you have any questions or you get stuck, please get in touch with the Learning Centers and we'll do what we can to help. And I hope that this tutorial was of benefit to your process.